Tanae, what's the first response that people give you when they find out you're a Scorpio? <laughs> um, usually the first thing, especially coming from men, is uh, the thought process is that I'm automatically a freak of some sort, which is true, but still. <laughs> now, define freak. Um, Open-minded, sexually, willing to... I won't say take risks, but adventurous, do, do different things, new things that a lot of people want. What would you say your most dominant Scorpio trait is? It would either be loyalty or um, my secretiveness and mysteriousness. Okay. Scorpios are very intuitive. Can you uh, tell me about some intuitive experiences that you've had in your life? Um, I can't really think of any specific ones, but it, it just it's always just kind of that gut feeling that you just have to roll with. Um, one, and this happened when I was really young, I was probably a teenager, it was a situation with an older gentleman who was trying to date me. Um, long story short is about... I blew him off, and about a few weeks later, I found out that he'd actually um, kidnapped and assaulted a girl um, that I went to school with and ended up in jail. But just in that moment of him trying to talk to me, I just got bad feelings, bad vibes, something wasn't right about him. Um, and so that was like, that was the first big time that I can remember that my intuition was like, yeah. You just gotta listen. You just gotta go with her. So I tend to do that. Now, with Scorpios being that we rule the eighth house, and that is the house of sexuality and spirituality, could you go into depth about that? I think when it comes to sexuality, Scorpios are that's the place where they can feel free. I think we are standoffish, we put up those walls. Um, a lot of the times that I think when it comes to our sensuality, we tend to own that a lot more, and that's the that's when we have the opportunity to open up to people. So when we do open up to people in that way, it's real, and it's deep, and it's meaningful. And a lot of people don't get how much it means to a Scorpio when we do um, show that vulnerable side to other people. Yeah, you're right. Have you had any supernatural experiences? I have. Okay. If you could give a message to all of the Scorpios all over the world, what would that message be? You have more power than you think you know. You have so much inside of you that we keep bottled up. Um, don't be afraid of it. Explore it. Let it out. We can rule the world if we give ourselves a chance to. If you could give a message to all of the members of Phoenix Rising, what would that be? Um, open up. Get out there. Let us more. Let us know more about you. Um, your goals, your dreams, your wants, your desires. It's hard. It's scary, I know. Um, I haven't even done it myself, but if you take the time to do it, everyone else will see that and be more willing to open up. And I think it'll help to grow the group and to put us in a different frame of mind.